Greetings everyone from our cul-de-sac vegetable garden. We have another fun-filled activity summer day between gymnastics during the day, karate in the evening. We are at the peak of lettuce season, so we are going to pick our delicious homegrown lettuce, bring it inside and clean it, and prepare a delicious summer salad for dinner. Okay, our lettuce has been picked and rinsed, and now we can just start assembling our summer salads. Bill, my husband, grows a nice organic garden for us on the side of the cul-de-sac, and I like to utilize his ingredients in my recipes, so we're a good team. You know, my one interesting thing about lettuce or leafy greens, my uh, chef instructors and my professors used to tell us when we were taking a nutrition exam, if there's a question concerning, you know, what's a good source of vitamin A, C, or iron, or calcium, or almost anything, if you just answer leafy greens, you'll probably get the answer right. So that kind of tells us how good they are for us. I'll just add a little bit more lettuce to the, this one. Okay, so we have our lettuce in all the bowls, and the next thing we're going to add are crispy chicken strips. I cooked the chicken strips and I cut them in about one inch chunks. Kind of makes them go a little further and also makes the salad easier to eat. And, you know, we kind of got the idea for this salad from a commercial. My son was watching it and he said, that looks good. And I said, I'm on it. So we just like to make this up at least once a week during the summer. And you can add or eliminate any of these ingredients. Now we are putting on strawberry quarters or halves, how, you know, depending on the size of your strawberries. Okay. On each salad. Just a lot of just delicious layers of goodness and flavor here. And a little bit of scallion that I just sliced. Just, we're only making up five, so just make sure I put some on all of them. Since there's five of us here, I think I can just use up all my scallion there. Okay. And... I found some glazed pecan pieces right in the salad section in a foil pouch in the, in the produce section. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on each salad. Again, it just adds to the flavor, just layers of flavor and goodness. Even the people I find in my family that don't like nuts will eat them like this. Uh, now we're going to put a few pieces of Jarlsberg on each salad. Jarlsberg is actually what considered to be one of the three natural cheeses of the world, along with Emmentaler Swiss and Parmigiano Reggiana. So nutritionists will recommend one of those three cheeses. And last, just gonna put an egg, one egg slice on each salad. Again, you can eliminate or add to any of these ingredients based on your own personal choice or preference. Okay, now we'll be back to show you how to make cornbread croutons. Okay, we're gonna make our cornbread croutons now. As you can see, we already started slicing them up. Our grocery store sells these adorable little loaves of cornbread, muffin, and we're just slicing them up at about a half inch slice and lining them up in even rows on our parchment paper lined baking sheet. And what we're gonna do is I have a, a bottle of organic, a good bottle of organic mango salad dressing. I thought that sounded good for this salad. If you see something else that is appealing to you, by all means, use that one. And what I'm doing here is I'm putting a little bit in the bowl here. And just for a little kick if you want to, 
you can add some chili powder to it. Okay, now I'm just going to give it a little stir with my pastry brush. And I'm just going to very quickly just dab each side of the pieces with this salad dressing mixture. And then we're gonna, going to pop them in the oven at 350 degree Fahrenheit for five minutes on each side. So five minutes, flip each one over, and then another five minutes in the oven, and then take them out and let them cool. They will harden upon cooling. And even if they're a little soft on the inside and crispy on the outside, that's fine. That's actually how I prefer them. So we will be back when these are toasted up. Okay, our cornbread croutons are cooled out of the oven. We, again, we bake them up at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for a total of 10 minutes, flipping them once after five minutes. We'll just top each of our delicious summer salads with about two or three of each crouton and we will cover them with something and we are going to go head out and pick up our gymnast come back and enjoy these salads before heading back out again we enjoyed making our summer salad with you today here on the cul-de-sac and we'll see you next time